What's up YouTube? It's been uh, almost a year since I put my last video up and the reason is I was shooting video with my cell phone and I recently got uh, a digital camera so I thought I'd kind of do a little update and show you some of the stuff I've been working on. This, uh, this most of this you have seen except I don't think there was scenery on the layout last time I put a video up. So this is some of the scenery and I think most of the buildings were here. I don't know. I don't think the background buildings were up which those are I believe it's Kings Mills, Kings Mill that's some of their background buildings and this is uh, Pierce Auto Parts which is not complete as you can see it's one of the things I still gotta get done on this part of the layout and then uh, this will be, this is kind of going to be, well, as you can see, it's Mike's Nipple Ranch. But uh, that's just on there for fun now. But it'll have a volleyball court with nude volleyball players. It's kind of going to be like a strip bar, like a biker hangout kind of deal once it's done. Um, and there's Hoosier Tire. And uh, Lang Stegman, the bagging plant. Um, what else do I got in here? I got the. I don't know if I had the roads in or not. And then, as you know, my railroad's called the BNT, which is the Burlington Northern Terminal Railroad. Um, uh, Terminal Railroad is a railroad that's still active in St. Louis. Um, it's actually in East St. Louis, Venice or Madison. You fight over what 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 area you want to call it. Um, and then of course the Burlington Northern because that's my favorite railroad but anyway they run a joint venture here this is the town of Mishawaka which is uh, one of the towns I lived in as a kid it's in northern Indiana um, and it's kind of freelance kind of deal on different places that I've been hauled to or remember as a kid I drive a truck locally here in St. Louis Continental Cement Company um, is a well, they're out of Hannibal, Missouri, and they're in St. Louis. It's kind of a little, uh, my version of it. Handles covered hoppers, loads out, and then the office, little yard office. And, of course, the best trucking company ever was Campbell's Express, the hump, the old hump and the please trailers. Got quite a few of them. I'd like to have some more. If anybody's got any they want to give away? Give you my email. Um, so that's kind of what I've gotten done on this. I really most of this was has been done a while ago. Here's Collins bulk transfer. Um, but uh, I've kind of been busy on some other stuff. There's my Lenox Tower from Layout Concepts. Um, I think you can get a hold of him layoutconcepts.com. He's actually building me a WR tower. This is a tower in Mitchell, Illinois. Um, I rail fan. I rail fan at Mitchell, Illinois quite a bit. Um, and then in this section we come to, which this has all been done for a while. It was done with cheap Atlas switches that a bunch of stuff that I had laid over, uh, left over. Um, it was it was originally a little three track yard called North Lacey Yard, um, and these little things are a great addition to a layout, and they're cheap. I got mine from a company called Kepco. Uh, I believe it's uh, K E P C O. They're in Arizona, and the big ones like this I think were two bucks. Um, those were a dollar seventy five, and then as you can see those with two lines were th I think they were two and a quarter but they really look nice and they just add a little realism to the layout I mean I did mine all of my streets will be named after streets that I've lived on uh, in my life and then my yards are named after uh, people that I know um, people that I like I don't know I guess if I build a, a uh, waste man management facility I'll name it after people I don't like I don't know but this yard will hold uh, seven to probably ten different cars um, 
And that's all this really switches out. There's one, two, three, four, five. Uh, I believe five industries, I guess. So it doesn't hold a lot of, it doesn't, there's not a lot of, I mean, there's a lot of movement, a lot of different switching. Um, this was a switching plan I, I got offline. Um, I believe it was called the IDAN or IDOT or something like that. I kind of modified it and put this track in. They didn't have this track in. But my only downfall is I had to put this real sharp curve in um, to get into my yard. And eventually I'm going to have to do something about this because the only, the only locomotive power you can run into here are these switch engines. Um, which probably works out fine, but eventually I was going to use GP15s to switch everything. Or, I'm sorry, Jeep 38s. Because um, that's what Terminal has. And then I like them, you know, it would be decent road power, switching power, whatever. But anyway, move on. And so what I've actually been working on is I came in here. And I know that looks blue, real blue. But it's actually those LED light strips. And in real life, they're not that blue. I don't know if it's just maybe the lighting in here or I don't know. Anyhow... But this used to be, as you can tell, I left this door frame in, but this was a closet that went into the other room, and I just took the doors off, took the wall out of the center of the closet, and I came in here, and I put this yard in. You can see the LED lights. Actually, I don't know why they're coming out that color on the camera, but anyway, so I put this, this yard in, which is Weibull Yard and some more power I try and pair up uh, each terminal switcher with a Burlington switcher this part of the layout isn't uh, powered that's why none of the strobe lights and lights aren't working in the locomotives and there's another set of power so that's the yard I put in uh, I want to say I think the yards about 10 foot long maybe a little longer a little shorter um, but you can see where it goes in the other room and uh, come around here there's another terminal locomotive of mine this one I bought on eBay somebody custom painted so you gotta snatch that up and then my friend Bill Weibel who the yards named after gave me this one this is one that he painted up this is one of their older paint schemes and this is locomotive actually was 1751 in real life and I can't remember if it was a high nose or a low nose in real life, but it does a great job. It's a good looking locomotive. Still need to put numbers in the number boards. And then there will be an uh, engine facility here, sanding, fueling. It's just two tracks, but it's fairly long, so you can put quite a few locomotives in it. And then in this bare spot right here is where I'm going to put that WR tower, which is it was, it's gone now. But uh, the railroad still calls it WR Tower when they go by there in Granite City, Missouri, or Granite City, Illinois. And it will sit in there. And I don't know, I haven't got it yet, so I don't know the actual dimensions of it. So there might be a little crew shack in there, or some employee parking to go along with it. Um, but all this track is down, glued, and uh, ready to go to about there. And then come around here. Then I've got another, oh, this is a little over 15 foot long run here. And I'm going to put, um, this will be South Bend Industrial Park. And there'll be, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, there'll be six industries in this. I haven't, I haven't for sure got exactly how I want the track plan. Um, I've, I know how I want the main line. And there's actually kind of two main lines, and I'll explain that in a minute. I know how I got the main lines how I want, but I'm not exactly sure how the actual businesses will go. The different manufacturing and industrial buildings because I don't know what kits I want to buy. And and I like to, I, to me, I like to just, I don't know, buy kits, cut them up, put them together because everybody's got the same kit. So as you can tell from my layout, the other part of the layout that most of my buildings are Walters or Pike's stuff kits, but I kind of cut them up. So I don't know. I've got a lot of good ideas. And then in here, there'll be another track that runs in here, and there'll actually be a business be a business here, and then a background flat business over here. And then this 
main line here comes around and then it, it goes into here there'll be a, a curve switch there for a little bit of a run around and then is what it does is there'll be an interchange there this will be an interchange with Conrail um, and of course I'm not there'll be this is gonna there'll either be a one inch or two inch uh, foam and then this is going to be elevated a little bit to kind of give it some a uh, little bit to break it up because it's it's flat you know and uh, so that'll be an interchange and then we come back come back to this switch and then this first track here there'll be an industry in here I don't know exactly I, I was actually kind of thinking about like a scrap yard or propane I don't know what that's going to be but then this other track that comes around here I'm gonna put a lift out in there'll be a curved lift out that comes off that part of the layout and then starting about there there's there'll be it'll be seven and a half foot long by probably 18 or 20 inches in my little workbench where I throw everything and then is what that'll do is in that area I'm gonna put in a grain facility which is as, as you know that's my I don't know, you probably don't know since I don't tell you, but uh, that is my favorite uh, industry. I love, I like hauling grain. Um, I like going to different elevators, but in there I can put a huge grain facility. There'll be a couple different elevators, and then I'd like to do some, uh, a barge unload, or barge loading facility, since just about everything we grow anymore, we sell at China anyway. So. But uh, then underneath this part of the layout, I've got, uh, they're just the cheap three or four shelf little deals from Walmart. They're like 17 bucks a piece where I put all my rolling stock. And uh, they used to be in that part of the layout, but I went ahead and just put uh, skirting around that, which I just used black cheap curtains from Walmart and uh, cut them up and used Velcro, double-sided Velcro. And then... Uh, this will probably stay open so I can get to my rolling stock and um, there'll be more shelves along the bottom of here um, so but that's what I've been up to um, kind of a long lengthy windy video here and of course I did uh, there'll be the Valance around the Valance for the lighting around the top of the layout and then uh, there's my collection of all the uh, Jeep 38's I guess they call them Jeep 38-3Ms or whatever the terminal calls them. But I uh, had been buying slides and then had them had them turned into eight by tens. So, but that's what I've been up to, and uh, that's what I've that's what I got going on. And when I get a little more progress, man, hopefully it'll be less than a year. I'll put another video up. Thanks for watching. Uh, leave comments, good, bad, I don't care. I, I'm not thin-skinned. Thumbs up, thumbs down, and uh, everybody enjoy their New Year.